The experienced pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show, this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Merry Christmas to the both of you. All right. So what's our storytelling tip this week? Well, before I get to the tip, I actually have an I happen to know from personal experience that Eric is a pizza lover. Oh, and yeah. so I just wanted to tell you, Eric, that I happen to make the world's greatest pizza, and I think you ought to buy one of my pizzas. Um... I don't think he's jumping on this opportunity. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's not jumping. Well, but. so let's let's start let's just start this conversation over. And I, mm-hmm. I would also uh, what I would tell you, Eric, is yeah. I happen to know that Angel, yeah, makes the world's greatest pizza, and I think you ought to buy one of her pizzas. Angel makes the best pizza. Absolutely. I'm all over that. Yeah. See, right. well, and that's actually today's tip, which is that sometimes the best way to tell your story is to have someone else tell your story you know and the way you set that up when you said you made the best and i was watching that you know and then you turned it over that i did i was thinking i bet he's more receptive because he's hearing about what i do from somebody else right correct yeah Yeah, absolutely you know you can say exactly the same thing but we all have more credibility when we're talking about somebody else and that could be good or bad but it, we have more credibility talking about what somebody else does than we have about talking about either ourselves or actually even if, if we're too friendly with somebody or and, and, and whoever we're telling it to knows that that, that you know we have a vested if you have a vested interest in a recommendation and how a person takes it good or bad but especially good right then you have less credibility than if the recommendation i'm giving you is just a recommendation well yeah i mean you know and let's just say that both you and angel did make pizza and if that were the case uh what are you going to say you know eric uh, my, my pizza is kind of mediocre but angel's is better no you, you say mine is the best you, you know yeah, i exactly. would be skeptical uh, if you said that your pizza was anything but good, and so you don't get any points for telling me that it is. Exactly. Although I have to tell you that I hate to admit this on yeah. the radio. Maybe nobody will remember this part, but sure. your skepticism about my pizza, yeah. it's probably well placed. I think so, Uh-oh. too. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think so, too. Note to self when, uh, yeah, when Jerry had... offers offers pizza. <laughs> and now, Jerry, this is a piece. Is, is this why um, word-of-mouth marketing is so powerful? Absolutely. I mean, it, it's because we... You know, we we believe what other people tell us if, if if we know that they have no reason other than they're just sharing information, mm-hmm. you know, to believe it. And and you know, they're all all recommendations or all reviews or whatever are not not equal because if I know, I mean, for example, um, you and Eric, we all know that you and Eric work together, so. A recommendation from one of you about something the other one does is going to carry less credibility than a, a recommendation from somebody else. Now, it may be equally true. Right, because they have a vested interest in it, though. Exactly. Right. And, um, you know, we've also, there are just things like, you know, we it used to be there was a time when uh, political endorsements from, like, a newspaper carried a lot of weight. They could actually change the, an election outcome. I think they have lost a lot of that, and some of that's because newspapers have lost readership, and it's also because people have become, I think, more fixed in their political views, so they're really not, you know, they, they're not really going to change their mind based on an endorsement. Although, if it's a race you haven't been following, and you hear an endorsement from somebody you believe uh, believes more or less the way you do, you you, you may... You know, it, really, it depends on on who uh, is is making that endorsement because uh, you know the, even if my political views are what they are uh, and and not to be tainted with, if somebody that I ha- hold in higher regard or esteem makes a compelling case, I, I'm I'm probably more likely. Sure, and having someone else tell your story. I mean, it's why things like reviews on uh, some of the uh, social media sites. I mean, they're so important. Because, but but the other thing is, we're also beginning to learn. I think they're losing some of their credibility because what we're learning is an awful lot of people are trying to game them, you know, get their friends to do it. Exactly, them. and I know there was a big a big stink over Amazon recently. Um, some people's reviews were being um, removed because it was kind of like all get together. You review me, Jerry. Jerry, I'll review you, and Eric, you review me, and we're kind of getting together and doing these mass review things. And so, you know, we don't really. It, it's a, it's a slippery slope. 
to say, okay, I want you to go out and, and, and tell my story. And yet it's still the most valuable um, way to share the message is, is when somebody else brags about you, so to speak. Well, it's why your friend bragging Fridays are so powerful. I mean, that's the whole basis of that. And, the, you know, when somebody calls in or sends you an email and brags about somebody else, I mean, those are just experiences that people have had that are positive and they're not plugs. I mean, they, they're not paid advertising. They're not the right. person speaking for themselves. And so, you know, they, they, it's. I think that's why that's the most popular shows you do every week. Now, Jerry, do you have do you have a tip on how do we encourage other people to tell <laughs> our story? Well, one of them, frankly, is just to ask. I mean, it is okay to ask people if they will share things with you. I stayed at a bed and breakfast recently when I went to a high school reunion, and and I happened to know the woman who owns the bed and breakfast is somebody I knew from high school. Uh, and, but she asked me if I would review it, and I was happy to do it. I actually probably would have done it anyway, but I was happy for her because she asked. But she also, it's to that point, she said, please don't um, say in the review that you know me or that we're friends or anything like that, oh, because right. not only would it make the review less believable, but in fact, where she was asking me to review it, they actually would have not published it. Mm. Um, but it's okay to ask. And, of course, obviously, another way is if you just, you know, if you are so good at what you do that people will tend to brag about you just normally. You know, what what the folks who do Google searches would call the organic right. search. Yeah. Well, this would be the organic fan brag, if yeah, you we, will. Yeah, we, we, we talk about creating that overwhelming experience such that you cannot help. It's, it's a knee-jerk reaction for your customers to, to brag about you. Yeah, absolutely. But but and and also there are people who I mean there are times when it is appropriate for you to go and find third-party advocates and and ask them to speak out on your behalf on a on a given story or a given issue. Well, make sure that when you do get those uh, testimonials, those stories, that you post them and share them on all of your sites because somebody else telling that story is incredibly powerful. Mm hmm. All right, well, you know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. I also love that Jerry can help edit what you've already written. Contact Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. 5948016. We'll be right back with more of the most positive business talk show after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.